But if you're looking for a place to ride and get a little bit muddy, look no more. Located in Johnson County between Butler and Mountain City, Doe Mountain Recreational Area has 8,600 acres for ATV, UTV, hiking, mountain biking, and horse riding. We bring folks, particularly from other, other states and other places here, if they're here, they have a lot of times they'll have a meal while they're in town, they'll buy gas, um, they'll stay at a campground, they might stay at a hotel, and so that really benefits the economy here locally, especially with our small businesses. Eddie Clausen is the owner of East Tennessee ATV, and he touts much to enjoy with the growth of the trails in just a few years. Probably double the size of trails since we were here, that many more. The Mountain Trail Riders have done a great job of building the trails. It's just unbelievable what they've done in two years. New and improved viewing platforms offer a unique view of the amazing scenery of the East Tennessee mountains and beyond. Work was also just completed on the historic Kettlefoot Fire Lookout Tower, making it safer for visitors. Everything out here requires a permit because we don't get uh, any direct funding from the state. Uh, so those run the gamut from hiking is $3 for a permit for the day on up to uh, driving a vehicle, which is $18 for the day. We also have annual permits, and unlike a lot of places, our permits are good for a year from the time that you purchase them. Doe Mountain Recreational Area is expecting to generate a couple million dollars of revenue in the next decade, thanks to carbon credits from the forestry management they do. The requirements of that are we're preserving this forest in order to uh, have those carbon credits and offset the pollution and be paid to do so. Future plans for the site include improving existing trails and adding more overlooks. On a weekend drive in Johnson County, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Ricky Matthews.